we will learn how to record our own actions in Photoshop for frequently performed tasks. In Photoshop, open an image and go to Window, Actions. This will open up the Actions panel and you should be able to see at least one folder or action set called Default Actions. If you open this action set, you'll see a bunch of different actions that you can use. But let's create our own action set because we're, we're so cool. Just click on this button and give your action set a name. The folder is still empty. So let's click here to create a new action. I'm gonna call it make the background black and white. Like now. Make sure you assign it to the correct set. You can also assign a function key as a keyboard shortcut and you can choose a color for this action. Now let's hit record. The record button is activated. So Photoshop is now recording your every move. Actually, Photoshop only records the commands and operations that you're performing. If you zoom in and out, or if you open and close some panels, Photoshop will not record this because you're not actually doing anything. You're just wasting your time, my time, and everybody's time, which is honestly really mean and rude. But if you actually start doing things, like if you click on the lock icon of the background layer to convert it into a normal layer, then you'll see that Photoshop starts recording your commands. Let's go to the properties panel and click select subject. Go to select and click inverse. And finally, click here to add an adjustment layer and choose black and white. This will make the background black and white. And you can see that everything we did has been recorded here in the actions panel. Finally, let's save this file as a PSD without changing the file name. You can see here that Photoshop has also recorded that command, but we actually want to be able to change the file name each time we use that action. So let's simply click here to turn on modal control, which will allow us to do just that. It's now time to stop recording. So let's click on the stop button. That's it. So now if you open any image, simply go to the actions panel, activate the action that we just created, and then simply click play to make the background black and white. Save the file. And that's it. That is awesome, isn't it? Wait, that's not right. <laughs>